False. It's a shmadal shmoyel shmame. This is false. It's a game about sharts. This is so confusing. It doesn't make any sense. Today, you are going to be playing Guess the Wrong Answers Only. Okay, I feel like this is something I could actually be good at. There will be three different rounds with slightly different rules, but the most important thing is that if you get it wrong, then you get a point, and the person with the most points is the winner. Okay, get the wrong answer. This is gonna be really hard for me. Stop, okay, great, yeah, I have done this, done this one and I love it, this is so much fun. Oh, man. I'm really good at just saying words before my brain thinks of them, so this might be my specialty. <laughs> I don't even know what to expect. Okay, I'm ready. Let's do it. So for this first round, we will give you three prompts with six different responses each. Only one of the responses is wrong. You will need to find the one wrong one to get the point. Oh, oh God, this is like school testing. Okay. Here's the first one. Which of these is a zombie movie? Now I have to pick the one that's not. The one that... I, it's between 28 Days Later and Fido. I'm just gonna go Fido. I'm gonna say Fido. I think I'm right, but I might be a crackhead. Fido? I'll go with Fido. <laughs> Fido, 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 Fido is the wrong answer, because that sounds like a dog movie. I'm gonna say Fido. So Fido is a movie about a pet zombie. The Walking Dead is a TV show, not a movie. You guys didn't say there was gonna be trick questions involved. Fido is a zombie movie? Stop! No, it's not. Is the key word here movie? Because The Walking Dead is not a movie. The Walking Dead is correct. <gasps> wow! I'm gonna say The Walking Dead because The Walking Dead is a TV show. Yeah! Okay! My favorite zombie movie, I've seen it probably like 18 times in theaters, was The Walking Dead. Did I nail it? You did Thank nail it! God. Yeah, I know how to play the game. All right, here's the second one. Which of these is a famous singer? Katy Perry, Robert Singer, Lizzo, Camila Cabello, Nicole Kidman, or Billie Eilish? Nicole Kidman. Is that? I think that, that one, I'm gonna say that's my final answer. Well, obviously it's Nicole Kidman. You're right, yes. that, you're wrong. Good. Nicole Kidman is not a singer. I feel like the Robert Singer answer is there to throw you off. I'm catching on to this. Nicole Kidman is the most famous singer on this list. I'm gonna say Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. I can't tell you how many times I've seen Nicole Kidman in concert. Her last arena tour was woo hoo hoo. Nicole Kidman is the answer. I mean, she did sing in one of the movies, but she's not a singer, she's an actor. Which of these is a Muppet? Ludo, Cookie Monster, Alf, Gonzo, Kermit the Frog, or Fizzgig? <sighs> God, I don't actually know if I don't know this one. The wrong answer is the Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster is a Muppet. I'm already, I'm done, I'm done. I've never heard of Ludo or Alf. I'm gonna go with Ludo. Oh, that's actually, that is a Muppet. I was hoping one of these names was a Teletubby name, but none of them look like Teletubby names. Let's go with Cookie Monster, because technically he's a part of Sesame Street. And that doesn't feel like a Muppet. Cookie Monster is a Muppet. Oh. The Cookie Monster is not a Muppet. He's on Sesame Street. Cookie Monster is a correct answer. What? Fizzgig, final answer. <laughs> Fizzgig is a Muppet from the Dark Crystal. We all know the world famous Muppet, Alf. So Darn. You are, you are Correct. You are correct and wrong <laughs> all at the same time. God. This is so confusing, it doesn't make any sense. I'm trying to think back to my favorite days on Sesame Street where I would just get some popcorn and watch Alf. Alf? Hell yeah. Apparently I need to brush up on my Muppet knowledge. So this next round, we will be giving you a prompt that you have to describe incorrectly. Okay. How do you play Minecraft? How do you play Minecraft? Oh, okay. So it's like a racing game. <laughs> Did I just say the wrong thing? Yep. God damn it. The thing that most people don't realize is that you have to put your Joy-Cons inside the plastic steering wheel because otherwise, if you're just like moving them like this with the Joy-Cons, you're never actually gonna be able to go in a straight line. You're gonna keep hitting the walls. You try to smash through like the colored boxes because you wanna get items like shells and bananas and stars and blue shells and there's so many different shells. And sometimes you throw banana peels behind you and make people slip and stuff. That's it, that's the game. But it is a game, so that's technically I know. Right. I just I just realized. You start out in a in a city full of weapons everywhere. And your 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 main goal is to take out specific targets using the weapons found within this world. Your targets would be King Farquad. 
he will be the main villain in this video game. You said video games. I was trying so hard. I meant to say form of entertainment. Well, first of all, you need to step outside into the real world. You gotta go to work, then you gotta come back home, and then when you come back home, you immediately begin to um, go back to work, and then you do that the entirety of the time. There is no ending to the video game. Uh, there is no ending to the Minecraft. <laughs> you certainly must be inside of a volcano that is specifically heated to 69 degrees because if the temperature is off, you won't be able to figure out where the jewels are inside of the volcano. The way you play Minecraft is you go into the kitchen and you open the refrigerator door and then you get the turkey and then you get the mustard and then you put the mustard on the sourdough bread. You take that Minecraft square and you toss it out your window. You have to shoot uh, flying birds. You have to shoot flying birds and then and then this dog comes and catches these birds that you're shooting at. So this moon game actually has nothing to do with moons and all about ducks. That was actually way more stressful than I thought it was gonna be. That actually was harder than I thought because I actually do play Minecraft and I wanted to go in. All right, ready for your next prompt? <laughs> it's, a, it's a thing where um, people go to, to Six Flags and they watch other people ride roller coasters. People riding roller coasters at Six Flags, that's, that's what this is about. How long do they do it? For seven days. Shark Week is when you're at the beach and you're just hanging out with your girls. And there are these group of guys who are like, hey, do you want to go party for a week at our mansion? A week is technically the right answer. So. Oh, no! This period of time is my favorite period of time because everyone is just so happy. As a society, we couldn't come up with anything else, so we decided to have it be just a firecrackery week of happiness and joy. Oh, it's a week, you said week. Ah! I was so close. Ah. Sharp Bleep is actually this uh, video game that you play, and uh, Sharp Bleep it, it's it's a pooping game. Let, let's be honest. Sharding is just a big thing that everyone deals with, and finally people feel represented by this. And uh, the bleeping, well, that's just there for funsies, obviously. It's that month, right, where we all take stares into the skies, and from the skies, we watch, of course, birds fly. What a shark week, that's my favorite day of the year, is when you put like the Christmas tree up and then the fat guy comes down your chimney and he's like, here's some sharks. And you all open your sharks together as a family. So it's a festival and people go and they can do yoga and hula hoop and learn how to belly dance. This period of time of a year is spent studying primates. And these primates swing through the trees, grasping fruits, leaves, and other forms of vegetation while simultaneously trying to scare away the birds. And we witness all of these things on Cartoon Network. So, are you ready to move on to the third and final round? Yes, I, I think I got this now. I'm, I think I'm in the rhythm. For this third and final round, you will have to answer a series of 10 questions incorrectly. Okay, cool. You will get a point for everything you get wrong. However, you will only have one minute on the clock. Okay, I just have to get as many points as possible. True or false, Jake Paul and Tana Montague had a wedding this year. I'm not even sure who these people are. Um, boss. True. Oh, that's the right answer. That is not True. False. They did not. This is incorrect. False. 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 Why why would that why would that be a thing? I don't know. Lizzo does not want to play Ursula in the new Little Mermaid. True. 
I don't know who this is. So I don't know if this is true or false. True. True. She has better things on her mind. Incorrect. True. 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 Why why would you why would you want to play Ursula? That is 100% true. Lizzo wants to play Sebastian. Old Town Road is wrapped by Little Nas X. That's the right answer. Old Town Road is wrapped by J. Cole, duh. J. Cole, obviously. It's in his latest album called Yeehaw. J. Cole. J. Cole. J. Cole. Old Town Road is wrapped by my boy J. Cole. How he lost his virginity on that Old Town Road. Old Town Road is a masterpiece created by J. Cole. True or false, you are more likely to be struck by lightning than attacked by a shark. That has got to be one of those options. That's probably false. Wait, I forgot what game we're doing. I've heard of this before. More likely, this is false. Ooh, I don't know this one. Um, uh, false. Ugh. False. 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 <laughs> false. Correct. I mean, wrong, but correct. All right. But that your time is up, so you didn't make yeah. it very far. Okay. Oh, shoot. True or false? Fortnite is a battle royale game. I don't even know what this sentence means. False? True? True or false? Fortnite is a battle royale game. False. This is obviously false. That's false? False. It's a schmaddle schmoyel schmame. This is false. It's a game about sharks. And the mechanical shark used in Jaws is named, um, I think it's it's Bruce. It's named Bruce. Shark bait, hoo ha ha. You guys didn't watch Nemo? It's Bruce. All right. uh -huh. I've never even seen Jaws. I'm just gonna go with Lenny. <laughs> Lenny. Uh, Lenny. It's my favorite shark from the Gra Graves of Wrath. His name is Lenny. It's short for Leonardo. True or false? The Bachelorette has been on for 16 years. Wow, I really don't know this one. This is a mad 50-50. I know it's been on for a while. So, false. Oh, I don't know this one. Um, false? False! That has got to be false. That's such a specific number. The mechanical shark used in Jaws is nicknamed Flaws since it kept breaking down. I, sure, true. That's true, we had to go to therapy for years after that. True. This is false. It was called beautiful, because it was a beautiful shark. Katy Perry was married to Travi McCoy. Travi McCoy. Katy Perry was married to Travi McCoy because he wanted to be a billionaire. Travi McCoy, the, the, uh, yes, that guy. <laughs> I don't even know who that is. Damn. <sighs> so, you won! Yay! Did I? Are you lying? I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> after I got into the rhythm of what I was supposed to do, mainly after the Shark Week one, I was like, okay, I got this. I just gotta be as wrong as possible. I thought that my brain wasn't gonna be able to click with this at all, but it, it she did pretty good up here. It's hard being wrong when you've just, when you're always so right. <laughs> I think I would love to do this again and see if I can do better next time. Thanks for watching us guess the wrong answers only on the React channel. Subscribe for new shows every week. Bye. <laughs> Hey y'all, React producer Blythe here. Looking for a great way to connect with us directly? Then follow us on Twitter at FBE. It's also a great place to see what new merch we're working on every month. Bye.